Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Abercrombie jeans haul and I feel like every time I think of Abercrombie, I just immediately think of their jeans. So today I'm going to be deep diving into some of their jean styles they have online. There's also kind of a keep or return haul, so you'll see which jeans do I like, which ones am I probably going to return. And yeah, before we get into the haul, be sure to take the time right now and subscribe. Also be sure to hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post. I post new videos every Thursday and Saturday. And yeah, let's get into the haul. All right, so first up we've got these. These are called the straight. So mid-rise, the straight, I'm wearing in a 24 regular. And these ones are just a really great classic style. So the color on this one is just medium. And I feel like these are just a great classic style of jeans. No crazy bells and whistles and rips and distressing and all of that. So I feel like these are a very solid pair. I feel like they're pretty cute and trendy, but also very classic. And just a great everyday pair of jeans, especially moving in to spring. I feel like the kind of lighter-ish wash jeans can be a little bit more springy in summertime, but not to say the dark wash isn't. This will definitely pair that with spring things, but yeah, just having a nice pair of these medium blue wash is really nice. I will say the only thing that's a little bit different about them, I mean, is honestly probably more normal. I'm just so used to high-waisted jeans right now. So these are actually a mid-rise. I don't know. I feel like kind of uncomfortable a little bit with a mid-rise. Definitely not low-rise by any means, but it is, I don't know, just a little weird to have jeans fall at that place. Like I said, I am probably really used to high-waisted jeans at this point, high-waisted shorts, all of that. So going back to a mid-rise just seems a little foreign. Does that make sense? Honestly, I'm more comfortable with low-rise than mid-rise. I don't know. Does anybody else feel that way? That mid-rise is just so awkward? Do you rather go high-waisted or low-rise? I don't know. Might just be me. <laughs> yeah, so these ones are mid-rise, so take with that what you will. Overall, I do think they are a really cute pair of jeans. They fit really nice. And so keep a return. I don't know why I started out with such a controversial pair for me because I am a little unsure if I should keep a return. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I think the mid-rise is just really throwing me off, but they are a great classic pair of jeans. I also got these ones on sale. Abercrombie was having a jean sale thing and that is what caused me to buy all these jeans for this video. So this pair was only $67.50 on sale. So really a great deal since most of their jeans are at least $100. I feel like is the median price point at Abercrombie. So $67 is a pretty good deal. But yeah, so overall keep a return. I'm not sure actually if it's keep or return. I think I'm leaning towards keep just because they were also on sale and that gives it a few more points but I could be convinced of a return. All right moving on we've got these ones are the 90 straight ultra high rise and I also got these in curve love size 24 regular. So these ones are a really fun pair. They do have the bells and whistles that the first one didn't. They have a lot of fun distressing on them. They're this darker black wash jean and they are high-waisted. So already I'm feeling more comfortable in these ones. These ones are honestly pretty baggy, but I really do like that style. I think these are just really cool jeans, if that makes sense. I don't know, with like the distressing, the fit, the bagginess, I just think they are really cool. Also, I do like the color of them, the black. I think it gives a little bit of variety for your denim in your wardrobe, so I really like that. And I got these ones on sale for $74.25, so again, under $100. Pretty good deal for average. Abercrombie. I was a little nervous that I wouldn't like all the distressing on this one because it does have quite a lot, but I actually do really like it. Like I said, I think it's really cool and it just kind of goes with that baggy, grungy style of it. But yeah, so I am really loving these ones. Okay, sorry, I took a break midway through. My, my lips are so stinking chapped <laughs> right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna fix that real quick. Okay. Where was I? Okay, back to the jeans. So overall, I think these ones are really cute, really fun. Again, love the high-waistedness of them. Overall, keep or return. These ones are definitely going to be a keep. All right, and then moving on to our next pair of jeans, we've got the 80s Mom High Rise. And I am wearing these in 24 Curve Love. And these ones are another classic blue denim. They are a little bit darker washed than the first pair, but not too 
too, too dark. Definitely not the black wash jeans. So still a nice kind of neutral denim tone. The difference though on this one is really the fit. And I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm completely in love with the kind of like tapered look of the jean itself. And I also don't know, these ones are curve love. So I'm not sure if that might be contributing to this a little bit. It feels like it kind of goes out more at the waist and then really like skinny by the time it gets to your ankles. And I feel like if it was a little bit more of like a uniform down, it would be a little bit more flattering on me. But I'm not sure if that's just because they're curve love. The last pair was also curve love and I didn't feel like it had that shape to it. So I don't know if this just might be the 80s style. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm a super big fan of it. These ones were also on the sale though. So I did get them for only $67.50. So honestly, a really great deal. So it makes it a little hard to pass on them. But yeah, I think overall, I'm not a huge fan of this style of them. I think the fit and the waist is great. The wash of the jean is really pretty, a great color. Overall, keep or return. These ones are unfortunately going to be a return. All right, and then next up, we've got... All right, we've got the baggy. These are mid-rise jeans. I am wearing them in a 24, and these are also curve love and I do like the overall shape of them especially compared to the last pair I do like how they are very flared and that style I think is just a little bit more flattering on my body than the tapered in look but yeah so I really like that what actually drew me towards these jeans was the distressing on them it looked really interesting on the website so they kind of just have slits on the side which is something I feel like I haven't really seen a lot with jeans before so yeah I was more so just curious of what this would look like on. I was, again, pretty surprised how much I did like just the general fit of it, but I do feel like the distressing on it, I don't know, it might look like a little awkward with it just being little slits on the side. I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, I need your help. Please leave a comment below what you think about the slits on the side. Do you like them? Do you think they're cool? Do you think they're weird? Yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys think because I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of them right now. I feel like when I move too, it just kind of bunches it up a little bit weird in a weird way. But yeah, so a little bit unsure about that. But overall, like the wash of them is a really pretty light denim. Again, perfect for springtime going into summer. And yeah, these ones were also, again, on sale for only $75. So another great deal. But I don't know. I think overall keep or return, I am probably going to return turn these ones. All right, and then last but not least, we've got the 90s straight ultra high rise. And I am wearing these ones in a size 24, and these are regular, not curve love. I feel like these are probably the lightest denim of the bunch. And what actually drew me towards these is I've been wanting a pair of the fun crisscross style button jeans for so long. And these were like really trendy kind of spring summer last year. I don't know, I feel like the trend is still like trickling into 2023 but not as prominent but still not out of style in my opinion so I feel like these ones just look so cool online so I just had to finally try it out for myself. Honestly, I'm not disappointed. These ones are actually really cool. And again, they are the high rise, so we're not worried about the weird mid-rise fit of them. Definitely more comfortable with the higher waisted jeans. I feel like that looks really cute with the crisscrossy kind of detail on it. I think these are really cute jeans. Again, they are a part of the sale. I got these for only $66.75, and honestly, I feel like such a great deal. I think these are so cute and perfect for transitioning into spring and summer with that super light wash denim. I just think it's so pretty and very spring e springtime-ish. You know what I mean. But yeah, so I think they are just so cute and fun. Again, I love the fit on them. They're not too, too flared, almost just like a straight leg down, which is probably why they're called the 90s straight. Duh. But yeah, I think they are so cute and just a perfect classic denim with a twist with the waist. And so overall, keep a return. These ones are definitely going to be a keep.
All right, so that was my full Abercrombie jean haul, cape or return. Like I said, these ones were all on sale when I bought them, but I will be sure to still link them for you all if you want to check them out yourself. A lot of hits, a little bit of misses, but overall, I think a very successful haul. I feel like Abercrombie just does jeans so well that, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I'm extra critical of them or it's just more of a me thing than a them thing. As always, Abercrombie has really great quality, really nice jeans, you know they're gonna last. So all of that is never even a question for me. They do honestly make really great jeans. And also all of the jeans I tried on today actually do come in a wide variety of other washes and colors and levels of distressing. So if you liked one of them but didn't like the wash, they do have a lot of options online. So definitely worth checking out. And if you enjoyed this style of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe I really really appreciate it and as always thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one